where does sin begin? Does sin begin when you think about a bad thought? Or does sin begin when you act upon that bad thought? Well, let me give you, let's let the Bible answer. When Cain felt anger towards Abel, or call it jealousy, against or towards Abel, his brother, and he thought about killing his brother, did he sin because of that thought? Let's go to Genesis 4. And let's start from verse 5. God did not look with any favor upon Cain and upon his offering. And Cain grew hot with great anger, and his countenance began to fall. At this, Jehovah said to Cain, Why are you hot with anger? And why has your countenance fallen? If you turn to doing good, will there not be an exaltation? But if you do not turn to doing good, there is sin. Crouching at the entrance, and for you is its craving. And will you, for your part, get the mastery over it? So now, according to God, Cain has not committed the sin yet. Although he's thinking about committing the sin. Although he's blazing in anger against his brother, in jealousy or and anger, the sin is creeping up for him to be commit for him to commit the sin. He's, he's leading up to committing the sin because of his thought process, but he will not commit the sin until he actually commits the act. So while sin can technically begin in the heart, you have to actually commit the sin for it to be a sin. When Michael had a dispute over Moses' body with the devil, and he got incensed at the devil, obviously, but he held himself back from sinning and he said may Jehovah rebuke you did Michael sin because he had anger against the devil and would have liked to have done something to the devil but held himself back and said may Jehovah rebuke you there is a passage in the Bible that says when something I'm going to paraphrase it and put the scripture as a link but he says I'm going to quote it under he, it says something to this effect if there's something going on and you don't like it and like you're angry about it, it says, have your say about it in your heart, but do not sin. Have your, have your say about the matter in your heart. Be angry. Like you could probably, I guess you could even curse them out. Now, if you curse God in your heart, that's different, obviously. But, it's, but the passage basically is saying, have your say in your heart, but do not sin. Do not say it out loud. So the action is the sin, not the thought process. But now if you dwell on something for a long time like Cain was doing, sin is creeping up on you for you to commit it. Now will you get the mastery over that thought process and hold yourself back from committing the sin? That's a whole different matter. But until you actually commit the sin, you have not yet sinned. So now I'm not saying the thought process is not, is not a sin, but I could kind of, based on the Bible, pretty much it's not really a sin. Now, do with that information as you will. And then when Christ said, anyone who says to his fellow brother, you despicable fool, and something else, Rasha, right, is liable to the fiery Gehenan. He didn't say they actually committed a sin. He said they are liable to the fiery Gehenan, meaning sin is creeping up at them. And will they get the mastery over it by not actually committing the sin because they're so blazing in anger against their brother?